Hey guys, what's going on? We got another Enhancement Shaman Mythic Plus video. Um, basically in this one we are doing a plus 23 Naltarian Slayer. Instead of going over the mechanics and stuff of the dungeon, uh, since by the time this video comes out, 10.2 is basically going to be out the next day, so there's not much point in discussing this dungeon as it won't be part of the season anymore. Um, so instead, I'm just going to talk about what's going to be coming in 10.2 for Enhancement Shaman and the new dungeon pool, kind of. So first to get started, Enhancement Shaman is receiving a lot of talent point changes and a small buff and nerf in a sense. But uh, the tier set is going to be the biggest change. So our current tier set revolves around Sundering. Basically, when you use it, you know, you get a whole bunch of power. So the new one is revolving around Primordial Wave. And what they've done is they buffed Primordial Wave by 500% outside of the tier set. So to make it more of a button. But uh, basically, when you use Primordial Wave, you gain a uh, Nature Feral Spirit for 15 or 20 seconds. And then... For the four set, every time you summon a Feral Spirit, you pull seven seconds off of Primordial Wave. So this is going to be a massive synergy and going to change the way we open. So instead of opening with Primordial Wave, uh, or um, instead of opening with uh, Feral Spirits, you're going to open with Primordial Wave to get it on cooldown. And then you're going to Feral Spirits right after to rip off 14 seconds. Because 14 seconds off of a 45 second cooldown is more valuable than uh, 20 seconds off of a minute and a half cooldown. So it's going to be more value to Primordial Wave first than Feral Spirits rather than the other way around that you're used to. It's also going to be nice because it's not going to matter when you Sunder anymore. So you can save that for uh, Maelstrom generation and such. Uh, but another big change is going to be the whole talent tree. We don't have to worry about taking Wind Fury Totem as it's been moved to a uh, more out of the way position. And even right now, you don't even have to really take it. Um, it, it is very valuable, but... It really depends on your team comp. If you're running with two casters, there's really no point in having it. If you're running with another melee, there's a pretty good reason to bring it. But uh, with the new talent tree, it's definitely more out of the way, so you don't have to worry too much. But Elemental Blast is be, um, coming into a much, much nicer spot. Much easier to get to. You don't have to go through 10 other talents. It's just right there. It's also going to be on the same Nova as Tempest Strikes, which is a new talent. Every time you Storm Strike, Ice Strike, Lava Lash, uh, you also deal extra nature damage. But it's a flat rate and not based on how much damage you deal with said spell. So it's going to scale with the, um, with the Feral Spirits too, the nature ones. We're also going to be changing the way uh, Splintered Spirits works for Primordial Wave. Um, instead of being 10% and then 10% per um, tar extra target hit by Lightning Bolt, it's going to be 20% and then 4% extra haste per target hit. Now, at the maximum rate of 6 targets, it's going to decrease value, but Overall, I think it's a much better change. Uh, you're getting more value in single target, which is going to buff us quite significantly. But it does reduce a small amount of damage when you're at those six targets, as you get a maximum of roughly 44% haste rather than the 60% haste from before, which is okay. But uh, another big change is Elemental Assault. Now, generally, you don't take this talent as Elementalist, and the reason why is because it only focuses on Storm Strike. But now, the uh, Maelstrom generation is going to also apply to Ice Strike and Lava Lash, making Maelstrom much, much easier to uh, generate. But not only that, um, the legacy of the Frost Witch has also changed. Now, this is probably the biggest buff that could have happened. But it's now making it 
harder for us to choose what talents we want because Legacy of the Frost, which currently only buffs physical damage dealt. Now, it goes from 5 to 25% based on the rank. With the change, it is now buffing our Frost damage as well. And now that's kind of implied considering the name is Legacy of the Frost, which you would think it would apply to Frost powers in the first place. But now it also buffs Frost damage by 5 to 25%, which is great. Now, those are the primary changes of the tree. Um, Sundering has moved. Feral Lunge has also moved, giving us a better option to grab our uh, mobility talent to charge at a target. And I think that is kind of it. So we still have a big cluster at the top and middle but our final tier talents have actually proven to be more powerful now, which is quite nice. But uh, Enhancement did receive a 3% nerf uh, just before the patch is coming out, unfortunately. So I guess it may have been overperforming from what they've seen. I haven't done much testing myself. I have watched a couple people play it, and it definitely still seems powerful. Uh, 3% is not going to kill the spec, but it is kind of putting you in that mindset of, oh boy, it could be getting worse. So we'll see what happens there. But on to the dungeon pool. So the new dungeon pool is going to have the Dawn of the Infinite, uh, first half and second half. We're going to have a Tall Desire. We're going to have Waycrest Manor. Black Rook Hold, Dark Heart Thicket, Throne of the Tides, and there is definitely one more that I cannot think of right now. Everbloom. That's what it is. So that is going to be the dungeon pool. Uh, I may have missed one. Not sure. Possibly missed one. But all of them are going to be revamped in a sense. Uh, it's going to be quite a different uh, dungeon than from what you remember. Throne of the Tides has received a complete revamp. Um, Black or Cold, I believe they said they made minor adjustments. And Everbloom as well, they've made minor adjustments because originally they were Mythic Plus dungeons in a sense. Everbloom was um, a challenge mode if you played in Warlords Draenor. It was uh, one of the easier ones where you could skip a whole lot and not have to deal with it. But uh, it wasn't quite up to snuff with uh, what they would like for Mythic Plus Dungeons, so they modified it a bit to make it a bit uh, bit more of a competitive scene now. Uh, Throne of the Tides has received a complete overhaul. None of the dungeon or none of the bosses are as you remember. Some of the mobs are still the same as how they were. Uh, the jellyfish elevator it, you probably saw if you watched BlizzCon, which um, it has been turned into a portal. So, yeah, they've made a huge amount of changes. Um, there isn't anything on affixes that I know of. So I believe the affixes are going to stay the same. But enhancement is looking like it is going to be an amazing spec for next tier. Uh, it's going to bring a whole lot more damage and a whole lot more single target now that we can probably take Elemental Blast as well as Elemental Assault, but it might um, hinder our AoE a little bit. We'll have to see. I'll be working on builds, so if you are interested in those, I will post them when I do have them. But yeah, that is basically it for what I can remember in a sense. Um, I know they were talking about bringing Explosive back for Sanguine, but um, when they originally wanted to bring it in 10.1, they uh, they were doing testing, and everybody that did the testing said the affix wasn't even really an affix because of the way they modified it. So it, I don't think it's coming in 10.2 either. They haven't made an announcement on it, so I'm guessing it's not ready or they haven't they're not quite happy with what the changes have made it. But um, 
for Waycrest Manor, I know I'm kind of going on random tangents here. I'm sorry, but I my brain works that way. But uh, for Waycrest Manor, um, if you remember it from BFA, there was always a set path ready for you. Uh, they have confirmed that all doors will be open at all times. Uh, I'm not sure about the downstairs doors as uh, you do kind of need to kill the top three before they do open in a sense. But all the other doors in the dungeon are open. So that means you can either go left, you can go right, or you can go straight to uh, the tree. Eye. It's really your choice the way you want to pull it. Uh, I don't know, other than that, I don't think they made any modifications to any of the bosses as it was an original Mythic Plus dungeon, but uh, I could be wrong. I have heard that they made modifications to Atal Dazar. Um, I'm not quite sure what it was. I know they did run it at BlizzCon, so if you did watch it, you might know something, but uh, I, I don't quite know what they made a modification to yet. I have a feeling it might have been the totem boss or the totem mobs. But yeah, 10.2 uh, is looking like it's going to be a whole lot of fun and very enjoyable for every class. Um, I'm interested in the tier set as it is kind of a, it's a different step towards enhancement as it's going to focus more on elementalist. And it's going to kind of put storm on the shelf a bit as it, it doesn't quite work with primordial wave but i could be wrong might be able to fit something in it it really depends with the new talent tree uh hopefully we can get something because um that that one nature dog would be pretty beneficial to uh to storm build having an ascendance proc and even just using uh tempest strikes now too so we'll have to see what it comes to i am super excited and hopefully you are too i watched blizzcon and uh pretty happy with everything the cinematic was um very interesting it's not like the other ones where it was super explosive you know Unlike Cataclysm, where Deathwing was uh, destroying everything, or Shadowlands, where uh, Sylvanas shattered the Lich King helmet and the sky shattered, you know, those massive things, they just kind of talked. It, it was definitely different, but it was a nice cinematic, so. But anyways, I'm going to go the rest of this key just um, doing talking about Enhance and how, uh, well, maybe, yeah. We'll talk about Enhance a little bit more. So currently Enhance is a very powerful spec. You revolve around Frost Shock, you revolve around Chain Lightning and Feral Spirits. Is that going to change in 10.2? Not at all. It's still going to be the exact same. The only thing is going to be your Sunder windows that are going to change and your uh, spell priority and that's it. Currently, you need to make sure you sender before you pop your burst. But in 10.2, that is going to change. It's no longer going to feel terrible when you primordial wave and then you lightning bolt. It's going to be much better rather than having to primordial wave sunder than lightning bolt. It's, it's just going to be primordial wave lightning bolt or lava lash, you know, whatever, whatever you're doing. It, and you don't have to spend, um, chain lightning anymore either which is nice to get your spells back or your maelstrom back and so it's nice not having to opt into that anymore uh i think it's gonna flow much nicer the talent tree definitely looks a lot better than what it is um wind fury totem not being part i still think wind fury totem should be a baseline spell i really don't like it being in the talent tree it feels terrible well yeah we wipe here because the priest got knocked out <laughs> Uh, this sucked. But, um, yeah, I wish, uh, I still wish Winfrey Totem was like an aura or something rather than a totem you have to put down or even just remove it as a talent point, to be honest. It, it's kind of unfortunate. We have to spend something that is super valuable, but also feels like it's a baseline enhancement spell. It, it doesn't make sense. Same with, uh, Winfrey Weapon. 
it's kind of like a must-have thing. But we have so many talent choices in the top section that you don't actually have to take it. But you do have to take it due to the way um, one of the other talents works where you need two imbuements. I know beforehand um, you could enchant your weapon with two flame tongues. Oh yeah, Grump got knocked into these. That's so funny. Uh, you could enchant or you can imbue your weapons with two flame tongues, but only have one work essentially. But it would count towards that talent working. I believe they fixed that bug where you now need both Wind Fury and uh, Flame Tongue to work. So it would be nice to see Wind Fury also baseline in a sense. But uh, that is asking for quite a lot. But to me, the top section is very cluttered. And it definitely needs a look at for the most part because so many powerful talents are up there. Like if you go left for Storm, it feels much nicer than going right for Elementalist because you have so many talent options that are basically requirements. You have Ice Strike, you have Lava Lash, you have uh, the Lava Lash, I think it's Molten Assault. And then you have your uh, Maelstrom Weapon stacking to 10. And then I believe you also have the Maelstrom weapon spells using 10 stacks. So it, And then you also have Hailstorm and Fire Nova. So it, it really does feel bad focusing on so much. But then again, I'm not sure what their plan is for the future. For 10.2, they didn't quite fix it. But they have made the other sections a bit nicer to deal with, and they made our final tier talents actually feel good to take, rather than just being like, oh, I'd rather take these than these. It it really feels terrible to take extra points in a top in a higher tier um uh, in a higher tier section than a lower tier. But that is going to be it for the video. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully you're as excited for 10.2 as I am. I'm going to have a, another dungeon out next week with the new talent tree. It'll uh, be one of the season two dungeons, but we will have the new talent choices and everything, and I'll try and get a build. Obviously, it won't involve the four set because we cannot get it yet. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I will keep doing this, and hopefully it helps you out and the newer dungeons I am super excited for, and we'll have uh, explanations of how they are done and the way enhancements going to benefit in those dungeons specifically. But yeah, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Four, three, two, one. Find Shota. Going left or left? You almost got murked. Kill the guy. Twelve hundred lightning bolt. I like that. Shelter. Going left again? Yeah. Killing boss. Let's go! Woo!